When valuing firms, we need to project economic profit and cash flows for eternity. If you are wondering how we might do this, in this video we will look at how we face a forecast horizon. We can only forecast economic profit and cash flows for a limited period. As we look out into the future, it becomes increasingly difficult to see the way ahead. We might be reasonably confident about our forecasts for our firm for the next year, less confident for the following year, and so on as we step forward in our minds into potential future realities for our firm. I live in Yapoon, a town on the Capricorn coast in central Queensland. We have beautiful views over the town, down the coast and across to the islands nearby. The skies are usually blue and clear. However, in winter, sometimes a fog settles over Yapoon and then slowly rolls out to sea. On these days, there are no distant views, just a fog closing in and restricting my world to a few hundred metres in any direction. But then the fog will steadily lift and my world opens again to a wide perspective and distant views. Forecasting can be like this. Sometimes it can be most difficult to see very far ahead with any degree of confidence. It can feel like walking through thick clouds and fog in your poon. The world can be a very uncertain place when you cast your eyes even a short distance away. At other times it can feel like having a clear view of a wonderful vista, able to see much further with considerable clarity and confidence. Whether we have a high or low degree of confidence in our projections, whether we feel confident to project many years into the future or just a few, we still face a common problem. It is called the horizon. Regardless of how far or near the horizon is, it will always be there. There will be a limit to how far we can see with some degree of confidence. Even with a clear vista down the coast, we will not be able to see beyond the distant points and hills of the coastline. It is the same with forecasting. There will always be a limit to how far into the future we feel comfortable projecting. A limit to how far forward we can see. Whether this is a few or many years, our projections of economic profit or cash flow will only be for a limited period into the future. Yet equity investors are entitled to the returns from a firm to eternity or until the firm is liquidated or taken over. How do we engage with or understand what might happen to a firm beyond our forecast horizon, beyond the limits of our ability to forecast a firm's future? The way we deal with this issue is we project our firm's cash flows and economic profit for a limited period. When we can no longer make reasonable projections, we then calculate a continuing value. To find out more about continuing values, see the videos What Continuing Values Are, Benefits of Using Continuing Values, and Formulas for Continuing Values. Also see Chapter 7 in the Study Guide. For further information on Forecast Horizon, go back to Chapter 5, Section 5.4 in the Study Guide. Also, review the Predicting the Future weekly questions. Also, answer, write and rate questions in Peerwise.